In this video, we will walk through how to navigate the Enterprise Services Portal. During this training, we will demonstrate how to navigate the portal, describe knowledge resources available for your reference, walk through how to request services, discuss to-dos, tickets, surveys, and watch lists, and review how to ask a question if you're not able to resolve your inquiry with the previously mentioned methods. Now we will transition to the Enterprise Services Portal. Welcome to the Enterprise Services Portal. To access the portal, ensure that you're using Google Chrome as your browser and you're connected to the Department of Commerce Network or VPN. This is the personalized landing page of the portal, which provides you with the latest announcements and a snapshot of your actions on the portal. Let's review the key features of the landing page before we dive deeper. The landing page includes the portal menu, which provides an easy way to access the features that are important to you, no matter where you are in the portal. The portal menu displays the Enterprise Services logo, which returns you to the portal landing page. The Universal Search Bar, which provides search capabilities. To-dos, where you will access tasks assigned to you. Tickets, where you will access your tickets. Surveys, where you will access your open surveys. My Applications, where you can access the applications available to you. And the Favorites page, or heart icon, where you can access your knowledge articles, services, and applications you favorite. The menu bar allows you to quickly access the services and knowledge you need by going directly to the service areas. The service bar provides access to knowledge articles, service requests, and assistance. From this bar, you can easily search our knowledge library and service catalog. If you can't find what you're looking for, you can ask a question. At the bottom of the page, the Personalized for You section hosts widgets that you will find useful. My Active Items, Recommended for You, DOC System Status, and the Knowledge Bar. My Active Items centralizes your open to-dos, surveys, and tickets. Recommended for You uses artificial intelligence to display tiles containing suggested service requests and articles which may be of interest to you. DOC System Status provides up-to-date system status and information. Here, you will see if a system is currently down or if it will experience a scheduled outage. To see the full list of statuses and their accompanying icons, select Show Legend. The Knowledge Bar at the bottom of the page shows knowledge articles you have subscribed to, most viewed articles, and top-rated articles. Let's return to the Universal Search Bar. Let's say I want to donate my leave through the Voluntary Leave Transfer Program. After I search Voluntary, the results will pre-populate. You can differentiate between the items that appear using the icons next to them. The Document icon indicates the item is a knowledge article, while the Speech Bubble icon indicates the item is a request page. The Favorites page provides easy access to the resources, services, and applications that you favorite. To favorite an item, select the Heart button found on the Knowledge Article, Service Request, or Application tile. To remove an item from your Favorites page, select the Heart button. The menu bar allows you to access the services and knowledge you need by going directly to the service area, Human Resources, Information Technology, or Acquisition. Each menu provides links to the topics that are important to you along with links to frequently used applications such as C-Suite, HR Connect, and WebTA. Let's select the Human Resources menu. Here, under the Topics section, you can find important Human Resources service requests and information on each of the primary service areas – PAR, Payroll, Benefits, Time and Attendance, and Talent Acquisition. For example, let's say I want to learn more about payroll services. I'll select Payroll. On the Payroll Topic page, we can see the relevant service requests. I can also filter by All, Article, or Request, and sort by Popularity or Alphabetical Order. Back in the Human Resources menu, the Quick Links section shows frequently accessed HR-specific resources. The Browse Human Resources option at the bottom will take you to the HR landing page, which displays all available knowledge articles, service request tiles, and HR quick links. 
The Information Technology and Acquisition menus follow similar structures to the HR menus, including a Topic section, a Quick Links section, and a Browse button. Let's return to the landing page to demonstrate knowledge articles. To access knowledge articles, you can either enter related terms in the universal search bar and select the knowledge article results that pop up, or select Browse Resources on the service bar to access the entire resource library and filter through categories. Today, let's navigate the Browse Resources function. This is the knowledge library, which consists of three primary catalogs, human resources, information technology, and acquisition. You can drill down to the knowledge articles you want to see by selecting the appropriate cataloging category. Let's say I want to learn about the Voluntary Leave Transfer Program as a recipient. In the Knowledge Bases drop-down menu, I will filter Human Resources. Then, I will choose the Time and Attendance category. Finally, I will select the VLTP recipient link to access the relevant knowledge article. After accessing the knowledge article, you will see at the top of the article is an overview of what VLTP is and how to submit a request. Under the overview is a table of contents. Select a link to be brought to specific information relevant to you. In addition to the information in the knowledge article, there may be links to attachments, related services, and related resources. The attachments box includes attachments that are related to the topic, such as the Standard Operating Procedure, or SOP, user guides, and signed copies of memos. The Related Service box provides links to service requests that are mentioned in the knowledge article. The Related Resources box displays links to other knowledge articles that are related to the information in the current knowledge article. To favorite this knowledge article for easy access, select the Heart button. If you want to receive notifications if the article is updated, select Subscribe. Let's move on to demonstrate service requests. We have now returned to the landing page. To access service requests, you can either enter related terms in the universal search bar and select the service request results that pop up. Select request services on the service bar to access the entire service catalog and filter through categories or open the menu bar, select the topic, and select the appropriate service request tile. Today, let's navigate the service bar. This is the service catalog. Let's say I want to donate leave to the VLTP program. Similar to the Knowledge Bases drop-down menu, I will filter Human Resources. Then, I will choose the Pay, Time, and Attendance category. Finally, I will select the Donate Leave to Voluntary Leave Transfer Program tile. The Service Request page outlines everything that is required to submit the request to Enterprise Services, including the required forms and fields. The Heart button next to the Service Request name allows you to save the service request to your Favorites page. On the right side of the Service Request page, under the Submit button, you'll see the required fields that need to be completed prior to submitting the request. As the fields are completed, they will disappear from the list. Additionally, you may see Related Knowledge Articles in the Related Articles box. After submitting a service request, you can check the status of its completion in the portal. Select Tickets in the upper right-hand corner to be taken to the My Tickets page. Each row of this table is dedicated to a ticket, and each ticket row includes the ticket tile, the ticket number, and who the ticket is being applied to, aka the ticket subject. You can also see the status of the ticket and when it was last updated. The ticket page automatically filters open tickets opened for you, but you can filter it by your role in the ticket and the open or closed status. Each icon next to the ticket corresponds to your role on the ticket. A blue person means that I submitted a case on myself. A green person means I submitted it for someone else. A gray plus sign means that someone submitted a ticket for me. 
And lastly, the orange eye means that I'm on the watch list and I'll be able to track the status of somebody's ticket. You can view the applicable icons when using the different filters. For more information on tracking tickets, please reference the Service Request Knowledge article. After a ticket is closed, you may also receive a survey request. Access the survey button to optionally complete all survey requests. Your feedback is important and helps enterprise services constantly improve. Let's return to the portal landing page. If you aren't able to find the answers to your questions in the Knowledge Articles or Service Catalog item, you can submit an inquiry using the Ask a Question link on the service bar. Select the servicing team to submit your question to. Within each of these functionalities, you can specify your topic and sometimes subtopic to allow enterprise services to best respond to your question. Thank you for joining us today. Check out more resources on the Enterprise Services Portal.